Hello, good morning. Oh, today is 27th. It's around 8 30 in the morning. It's cloudy, very cloudy. The mountains kind of are not visible. In fact, it's drizzling a little bit right now as we speak. Temperature I saw is uh, 7 degrees right now. Today the plan is we have woke up, freshened up and uh, got ready. We'll go down for the breakfast and then uh, today the plan is to go towards Thanalti. I, I just checked that Thanalti is approximately 2200 meters above sea level. Uh, for reference, Musori is 2000, somewhere around 2000. So yeah, expecting more uh, chilly conditions. Uh, right now it's and it's very windy. I think that's what makes it feel more right because even right now when I'm speaking, the wind is hitting on my face. Yeah, see, see the wind. It's very windy. Anyway, so let's see what the day uh, ahead has in store. It's been drizzling since the morning and it continues to do so. Freezing cold. Uh, I think we have come up a fair few distance. I think it's still around 18, 15 to 18 kilometers more. While planning for Uttarakhand, the idea of snowfall occurred to us, but we knew it was a little far-fetched considering we would be there on February end. Neither of us had seen snow falling before. We were thrilled to bits when we realized the potential of the ongoing drizzle. Here comes that Eureka moment. <laughs> the distance from our hotel to Dhanolti was around 35 kilometers. Located among thick virgin forests, Thanalti is the base point for numerous treks into the Himalayas. It is also popular for activities like rappelling and ziplining. Fast emerging as a gem among the major travel destinations in Uttarakhand, Dhanalti offers a peaceful, relaxed and laid-back atmosphere. Our Dhanalti agenda was primarily two points, Eco Park and Surkanda Devi Temple. However, Considering the weather, we firmly instructed Piyush that we would focus more on the journey today than the destination, implying that we would stop on every excuse and every instance of snowfall. Piyush was kind enough to oblige. <laughs> Bhaschya pura ekdom. Porche kintu continuously. Khub mihi hai. Just that, ei gulo the buste bari. Mane just crystal ta hotche. The stop-start nature of the journey continued before we eventually made our way to our first point of the day, Eco Park Dhanalti. Taka. Hello. So we are in the eco park of Dhanalti. What a fantastic morning it has been. So we got to experience snowfall a little bit. So it was cloudy from the morning uh, and then it was drizzling all along and the higher we kept climbing, the more we started to realize that 
there were very small tiny droplets of snow and it was almost floating so it was fantastic the moment we spotted that we requested Piyush to stop the car got down and in the road obviously the pictures that were taken but wonderful wonderful morning so right now the plan is it's 12 20 we are in eco park it's a lovely place full of trees the eco park is located just one kilometer away from the city center of dhanalti spanning over 12 hectares it is covered in devdar and oak trees the park is split into two forests namely ambar and dhara after spending some time here, we decided to proceed towards our next destination, Surkanda Devi. Jai Surkanda Mata Ki! On reaching the temple, we discovered two things. One, the ropeway to the temple was not operational due to adverse weather conditions. And more importantly, number two, it had started to snow again. <laughs> After some cajoling, I managed to convince Mitali to take the trek to the temple summit. My winning argument was that maybe we get more snowfall as we continue to climb higher. She got convinced. Well, almost. We started climbing up nonetheless. Mitali, Jai Matadi. Hello, so we are halfway into the 1.5 km trek to Surkanda Devi temple. There it is, that's the place where our car left us. I think that's the entry gate, that red one. And we're coming along this way. And now Mitali is around 2450 square meter above sea level. So, the temple is, if I read correctly, downstairs, it's around 2800 meters above sea level. Mitali can barely breathe, let alone talk. And the ropeway is closed today, so there's usually a ropeway which we intended to avail. But since it's drizzling and it's windy, so that's why the ropeway uh, is stopped. It's not working today, it's not operational today. Anything you want to say? Looking forward to the remaining? <laughs> Suddenly picked up. Yes, Vitali. Lovely, lovely, unbelievable weather. <laughs> Just see the snow coming down. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uttarakhand, I love UK. Last 10% of 1.5 kilometers. Key. <laughs> Finally, we can see the temple. We still cannot see it. We can see. 
and we are in the middle of clouds and surprise surprise it's still raining snows <laughs> Feet is freezing, freezing. <laughs> so we could finally get darshan of Surkanda Devi Mata and this is how it looks literally <laughs> we are in cloud <laughs> what's the phrase in cloud line huh? and barefoot barefoot to baap re baap pa jo mein jachi ek jagah hai two second pa sakle रोपे accomplished okay trying to go down barely anything visible right now but let's see so it's 1.5 km long trek the temple is divine but Absolutely nothing visible. I, I, one of the things that Piyush was saying was from the top view, बहुत अच्छी है view, बहुत अच्छी है घंटा view मिला. Nothing, nothing at all. But the experience, lifetime. हाँ, lifetime. So just a little while ago, this rope was not visible. I think I've recorded that as well. Now it's again coming back. So reappearing. So let's see. Italy, any comments? Experience of a lifetime. Yeah. Hi. Absolutely nothing visible. I have heard this in the last one hour, at least a zillion times. I'll try to emulate exactly the way it is said. Har taraf kora hi kora hai. Kora, just kora. So two seven five zero feet is what we went. Yush, just Yush waiting for us. Jai Sur Kanda Mata Ki Jai. And we've taken a pit stop. Didn't have lunch. We've stopped here for some Maggi. Maggi, shake it up. 
पहाड़ वाली मैगी पहाड़ वाली चाय So we are on our way uh, to Musori, to our hotel from Thanalti. I just took a quick stop to capture this moment. The sun has come out eventually. After a long, long day, a very eventful day, where we saw some snowfall and all that. He, it's almost like it's kind of telling me that. I've let you enjoy now. Let me come out <laughs> like that. But see the see the scene over here. The scenery is beautiful, beautiful. Those houses look fantastic, and that's the road through which we will also go. On the way back, we stopped our car midway to witness a mesmerizing sunset. Our hearts were full after completing the trek today, more so because of the failed attempt at George Everest Peak. However, that also meant we were very tired. It was also time to bid adieu to Musori the next day morning and head towards our next destination, Rani Khet. So we decided to head straight to the hotel, enjoyed a hearty meal with a full moon on view over the shining hills of Musori, and went off to sleep.